Good morning. Good morning. Good to see y'all. We hope y'all had a great week. I guess it's actually good for y'all to see us. It would be nice to see y'all again. That's true. It would. Remember that our unit theme for January is Good News for Everyone. And our Bible verse for the month is Romans 1, 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel, because it is God's power for salvation to everyone who believes, first to the Jew and also to the Greek. Let's say that together. For I am not ashamed of the gospel, because it is God's power for salvation to everyone who believes, first to the Jews and also to the Greek. Romans 1, 16. Today, we're going to learn that sometimes Christians will face really difficult times when they tell people about Jesus, but we should never be afraid or ashamed to share the gospel. Before we study our lesson, let's pray. Join me in prayer, please. I dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day and we thank you for the many wonderful blessings that you give us. We thank you for your word and how we can use it to guide our lives, Lord. Help us learn more about it today and grow closer to you. Sweet Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, let me call out a few actions, and I want you to think about whether these actions are hard for you to do or are they something that would be easy to do. And Miss Kim's going to play along too, but we'll give you a little pause for you to think about it and not start with Miss Kim. We'll let y'all have a second or two. And the first thing I want you is to think about if you were talking about your favorite movie. Hmm. Is that hard or easy? Obviously, it's easy to talk about your favorite movie. The hard part is picking your favorite movie. Picking your favorite movie. There are a lot of good yeah, movies. Yeah, I like It's a Wonderful Life. <laughs> and I like most superhero movies uh, on the DC side. And I still like Marvel okay, but my favorite are DC. So. <laughs> All right, explaining math. All right, I don't even have to pause because explaining math is easy. Very hard. <laughs> no. Very very hard. Explaining English is very hard. No, that's pretty easy. That's easy. <laughs> I think math the easy part. Math one plus one equals two. Yeah, but English, enough. there are things that. Why do you say it that way? I have no idea. But anyway, yeah. uh, telling about your family. Hmm. That's easy to do. Yeah, that should be easy. You tell about Alex and Lydia. We enjoy doing that. And mm -hmm. I like telling everybody what a beautiful wife I have. And we have a grand cat and a grand dog. <laughs> I like telling about them. All right. Reciting a Bible verse from memory. Is that hard or easy? It's, if you memorize the verse, it's easy. Yeah. Because most people know John 3.16. That's true. Sometimes memorizing the verse is easy. Remembering where it came from is Yeah, a that's bit true hard. too. Sometimes not knowing which book of the Bible and what verse mm -hmm. and all that. Because mm -hmm. everybody will say, I know the shortest verse in the Bible is Jesus wept. But knowing where that came from is something different. And that's something y'all can look up this week maybe. That's right. And who knows what John 3.17 says. Everybody knows John 3.16. Anyway, yeah. But Alex, when he was young, and Lydia was pretty good too, but Alex a lot of times won memory verse things, things that were competitions for that. I also remember John three seventeen was, was last. That's why I let them. Yes, December. <laughs> December's verse. So do y'all remember that? Um, telling something you something you like about your best friend is that hard or easy? That's easy. What's your best friend? We like talking about our best friend. Yeah. Telling someone you don't know very well about Jesus. Sometimes that can be kind of difficult. That can be hard. It depends on the person. Some people mm -hmm. don't know strangers and everybody they talk to, they can tell anything to. I'm one of those. <laughs> sometimes that's a blessing and sometimes it's a curse. <laughs> but in today's lesson, a man named Stephen told lots of people everything he knew about Jesus 
And we're going to learn this from Acts chapter 6, verse 8. And we're going to go all the way through chapter 7. So, all chapter so a lot seven. of all the rest of chapter 6 and then verse yes. all of chapter, chapter 7. Chapter 7 goes a long way, Yeah, too. a lot of chapter 7. <laughs> so there's a lot of covers. So let's get at it. Let's find out more. Stephen was a man in the early church who had great faith and power. He loved God and believed that Jesus was the Savior God had promised to send. Stephen had an important message to share. He told people about Jesus and began to do miracles. Some of the Jews were angry. They did not like what Stephen said, especially when he talked about Jesus. They tried arguing with him, but God gave Stephen great wisdom. So Stephen won every argument. So the angry Jews talked some people into telling lies about Stephen. Hey, we heard this man saying bad things about God and Moses. What, are you kidding me? We need to take him before the council and the leaders and tell them what Stephen did. This man is saying bad things about our holy place of worship and about our laws. He says that Jesus is going to destroy this place and change our customs that Moses passed down to us. The members of the council stared at Stephen and noticed his face looked like the face of an angel. Are the things these people saying about you true? Brothers and fathers, please listen to me while I tell you what I need to say. After he said that, Stephen began to remind them of the hard things their ancestors had been through. People like Abraham, Jacob, Joseph, Moses, David, and Solomon. Stephen told them that all throughout history, people had persecuted God's prophets. Then he said something that made them really angry. You are a bunch of stiff-necked heathens. You're just like people in history who persecuted and killed prophets. When the Messiah came, you betrayed him and murdered him. And you deliberately destroyed God's law, even though they came from the hands of angels. Look, I see the heavens open and Jesus, the Messiah, standing beside God at his right hand. The people screamed and covered their ears, trying to drown out Stephen's voice. They grabbed Stephen, they dragged him out of the city and began throwing stones, giant rocks, really, and they threw them at Stephen to kill him. Stephen prayed and asked God to forgive the people before he died. You know, Stephen was not ashamed of Jesus. He wasn't afraid to tell people about Jesus, even when the people got angry and Stephen knew they were going to kill him. Stephen boldly told these people that Jesus was the Savior that God had promised to send. Our key verse today is John chapter 16, verse 33. Mr. Mike has yeah, it over I there. I have it over here. Oh. It's over here somewhere. <laughs> In our verse, Jesus is speaking to his disciples. It says... I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. You will have suffering in this world. Be courageous. I have conquered the world. Let's say that together. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. You will have suffering in this world. Be courageous. I have conquered the world. John 16:33. You know, Jesus is talking to his disciples there, but he's not just talking to his disciples. He's talking to us as well. God wants us to be brave and to tell people how wonderful Jesus is. And he wants us to know he will always be with us. 
Okay, before we get to our activity sheets this week, there's a little something I do want to tell you about the story that we left out. There was a man that when all the people got angry and they started picking up the stones and grabbed Stephen, they gave all their coats to a gentleman named Saul. And we'll be learning more about Saul next week. So remember Saul and we'll talk about him next week. But for this week, our activity sheets for first through third graders will decide which one and what can you what can you do and whom can you tell? All right, so we got a three-parter this three -parter. week. Three-parter, I'm used to two. Yep, three and million. our which one, it says, take a look at all these different objects. One row and one column show five different places where kids can tell others about Jesus. So for example, um, you see this row here has actually two of the same thing. Um, and that column has two of the same thing. But what they want you to do is circle the row and then circle the column that have one of each of five things. So that doesn't have two of anything in it. That's right. Um, under what can you do, it says this to-do list needs a little help. Fill in the letters. It's missing the first letter of each phrase here. And then after you fill in the first letter of each phrase, it, those letters together make a word to finish the sentence down here. Same thing for whom can you tell? You're filling in the first letter and then using those letters to finish the phrase. So, and then our fourth through sixth graders are gonna get a triple verse score and front to back to front. All right, under triple verse score, if you can see, I don't know if you've ever played Scrabble, but if you have, it kind of looks a little bit like Scrabble there. It does. It says each set of three letter tiles is a code for a great way you can pray for missionaries. Mm. Match the letters to discover a Bible book, a chapter, and a way to pray. Then read the verses and pray for those who serve God by telling people around the world about Jesus. And then our front to back to front says, one sentence in each pair is correct. So you have a pair and one is correct. Is it the front to back sentence or the back to front sentence? You decide. And you fill in the arrow pointing to the correct one. And they give you a hint here, read the back to front sentence in reverse. And they can show you because you see, it looks like the period is in front but it's actually in back, so you have to read it back to front. Backwards. Mm -hmm. Which is why the Hebrew language is written in red, right to left instead of left to right. Yeah, I didn't know that. I'm pretty sure that's the language that's done that way. Might All be. right, <laughs> and then we have our coloring sheet with mm -hmm. Stephen preaching to the people. Mm -hmm. And then our live it out parent page, thing to do with your family members. Such an ask your parents to help you understand that believing in Jesus might sometimes cost people their freedom, or like in Stephen's case, even their lives. Mm -hmm. So it asks us to pray for missionaries around the world who put themselves in a position where that could happen to them uh, to share the word of Jesus all around the world. That's right. So last week, we talked about how people all over the world need to know about Jesus, and we were encouraged to share Jesus with the people around us. There are missionaries in countries all over the world who are telling people about Jesus. Some of them have gone to jail for that, and some missionaries have lost their lives for telling people about Jesus. Here in America, we don't usually have to worry about going to jail or being killed for talking about Jesus, but some people will laugh at us and make fun of us. Sometimes they might even try to make us feel ashamed of our faith. But God wants us to be brave and not be ashamed of Jesus. He wants everyone to know that he loves them so much that he sent Jesus to die on the cross for them. If he loves us that much, I think we can be brave and tell other people about Jesus. Mm -hmm. And even some people that we didn't mention in this, their own family members disown them and say, you're not my family anymore. That's right. That's you're not my son people. or you're my daughter. Or you're not my father because you've accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. It's very sad and when they do 
we need to remember those people in prayer. We need to pray for them too. So y'all join me in prayer, please. Our dear Father, we thank you for this day and we thank you for letting us live in a land where we're free to be able to share Jesus and, and believe in him and not come to um, too much harm from it. And sometimes somebody might pick on us or, or just make fun of us, Lord, but other countries and other places in the world, it's much worse. So we do ask that you would be with those people, especially be with the missionaries that choose to go to share your word and help us to support them and think about them and pray about them throughout the year. Please be with us, Lord, this week and help us to go out and live that life so other people can see that we have Jesus in us and they'll want to have that too. It's in his sweet, precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, we hope y'all have a wonderful week. We'll see you next week. Bye, Bye -bye. guys.